What's up guys, welcome to this new one. So I'm gonna talk about Serge Nubert again. Um, I couldn't do all of it in the first one, that would have been too long. So I wanted to come back for this one to actually describe inside the program of Serge Nubret. For the first video, what we've made was just to talk basically about everything you could take from the guy and uh, also, you know, his main beliefs, etc. Uh, but now I want to go inside the program. I gave you already what he was doing, um, you know, for uh, the main days. But now we're going to look into the exercises inside. We're really going to just focus this video on analyzing his program and again, see what we can take from it as naturals. So inside a program that can be very complex if you really want to go into details, for sure, I could really go into it and into the details, but I don't think this would serve you i think that what will serve you and help you in this video is that i take the main things that are the most important so something that i really don't like is not being able to go into details and to explain you all the reasons uh, behind what i think but for the good of uh, people who will be watching this video i need to make it more simple to understand so we're really gonna go over the main concepts the main ideas that will be good for naturals so I will present to you now again the program of Serge Nubre with the exercises this time inside. And uh, after that, I will explain you what I like about it for naturals, of course, and what I don't like about it for naturals again. So Serge routine was basically a day one, day two, day three that he was repeating twice a week. So for example, on day one, that would be number A, day two, that would be number B. Uh, and uh, the third day it would be C, and then on day four that would be A again, day five B, and day six C, and then on day seven you would rest or do abs. As mentioned in the last video, the first workout, so we'll call it number A, it was uh, quads and chest, then the number B, so on a Tuesday that would be back and arm strings, then the workout C, it would be on Wednesday and that would be arms and shoulders. And then you would basically repeat this number A on Thursday, B on Friday and C on Saturday. So let's describe now inside the program what it would do. So for workout number A, um, and the quads and chest, it would start with legs and do squats for 8 sets, 12 reps, leg press for 8 sets and 12 reps leg extensions for six sets and 12 reps. Well, I guess, you know, this is a given program from some website and we didn't have more information. I guess he wasn't always doing 12 reps, exactly 12 reps, but that's, you know, what I know he was, he was doing, you know, between tw 12 and 20 reps. As we said in the, in the last video, basically it was pretty much high rep stuff. And I explained, you know, uh, the philosophy behind it in the last video, I encourage you to look at it. For the chest, he would do bench press, eight sets, 12 reps, dumbbell flies for six sets and 12 reps. Well, it's always 12 reps, so I'm gonna stop saying 12 reps. Then you would do incline bench press for eight sets, uh, incline flies for six sets and pullovers for six sets. For the Tuesday workout B, you would do chin-ups for six sets. Then you would do behind the neck lat like pull-downs for eight sets. Uh, front lat pull down for six sets and bent over rows for six sets. Then for the hamstrings, you would do leg curls, lying leg curls for eight sets and then standing leg curls for eight sets. For the workout C, arms and shoulders, you would do behind the neck press, front raises, alternating them, upright rows and lateral raises. Then for the arms, you would do cable biceps curls for eight sets. Then triceps push downs for eight sets, and I think he was doing um, super sets. Then he would go on to barbell curls and then dips for triceps. Then Serge wouldn't really do forearms or traps because doing the exercises he was doing, he would uh, sufficiently train them. It wasn't a major focus for him. And then for the calves, he would do them when he was doing the workouts B and C, um, doing some calf raises. Then regarding abdominals, I didn't mention them in the program, but basically he was doing them every day. Uh, he was doing 2000 sit-ups every day for one hour, which uh, was probably serving as his cardio and just, you know, training abs. 
So I'll also come back to this later, whether this is a good idea or not for naturals. Right, so now that you know the program of Serge Nubre, I'm just gonna say what I like about it and what I don't like about it for naturals. Uh, I'm gonna list some points so you can relate first to you know my main ideas. And then I might go a little bit more into details about why I like it this way and why I don't like it this way. So what I like first about Serge Nubre workout is that Serge Nubre specialized. He was basically doing the um, workout A, B and C and doing it twice a week with exactly the same exercises each time. Uh, there is a saying that obviously doesn't always match with uh, the reality of things, but you know, practice makes perfect, basically meaning that the more you practice something, the better you get at it. Um, but there is no such thing as perfection, obviously. And so I think it's a key point of bodybuilding is that once you find exercises that work well for yourself, that are good uh, for your body morphology, that exercises that you won't get injured with, that get you the most benefits, and the best bang for your buck, basically, you should keep it. People who change programs when they start stagnating, uh, it's because their program is not good in the first place. So they change and then they do some other exercises. They start progressing with newbie gains on these exercises that they've never done. And then they start stagnating again and they keep switching back and forth and they never improve. You know, changing is not gonna make you improve uh, as much as if you keep the same exercises because you have your full focus uh, into you know uh, practicing frequently exercises and they make you better because you practice them a lot. If you change all the time, you're not gonna improve. So that's one good thing about Sir Nubre. He was keeping the same exercises and he said it himself, I saw that earlier. Uh, once you find good exercises, why the hell would you change if they work well? Uh, then you just have you know, to practice them a lot and make great gains this way. The other thing that I like that could be adapted for naturals is that there is a high frequency. As I said, it does, you know, a same day twice uh, a week. And so it does muscle, his muscles basically twice a week. So as I will say in the things that I don't particularly like for natural is that it's gonna be hard for a natural who's got a life on the side and is not a professional, etc., to do all the muscles twice. It might be a bit hard and sometimes, you know, three or four uh, muscles twice is already good enough and you can probably uh, have you know two other three other muscles just once a week so here there was a lot of frequency and I think that for the natural it's good to have frequency and to try to train muscles twice uh, a week uh, you know three muscles twice a week is already pretty good the main muscle that you want to see grow and uh, not with a lot of volume I think it's probably better to have frequency so to do your muscles twice a week for less volume than to do one big session of very high volume for one muscle and to wait one week before doing it. So frequency is pretty important for naturals. Uh, you know, high intensity, high frequency, and not so much volume for uh, beginners and intermediate. You know, I think this is a good approach. What I like also about surgery bird program is that, you know, it's ton of volume, but um, it's just a good spirit. The guy loves to train and I think it's uh, good to see simply. I don't advise to do that much volume for uh, anyone that is natural, uh, at least beginner intermediate. If you're like an elite natural level, you can take that volume in. Uh, and then it depends again from people to people. Some elite natural will need less than this and they will grow. Some others will need to do so much work. Uh, to get you know the same result as some other people so it really depends for myself I was doing a volume a bit like this when I was training as a natural um, and uh, you know just having my life around bodybuilding and that was fine for me and I was highly enjoying it but for for some other people it's not the case and they might not need to do all this much so it really depends from people to people but the spirit is there of training hard and this is good to remember high intensity at least whenever you train as a natural. What I also like about his program is that for those who have injuries or any things of this sort, the fact that he was using rather high reps can be an intelligent way of progressing. Progressing with high rep schemes can be interesting. And so if you're someone who's got some injuries in the past and want to last in the long term and not take any risks, that can be adapted to you. You might improve a little bit slower because I do think that strength work and doing heavy stuff helps you get stronger quicker. 
But if you're one of the people who anywhere want to think long term, there is absolutely no problem. It won't slow you down so much and it will work out so you can do high rep stuff. So now what I don't really like about Surge New Prep program for naturals, again, not just for him because, you know, he did what he had to do for himself, but for naturals now, what, you know, you shouldn't take from Surge New Prep program. There is way too much volume for most naturals. This is uh, a lot of volume and some of the exercises, I'll come back to it later, are very similar sometimes and not necessary in my opinion. So avoid doing all this volume, guys. <laughs> There is no point. First, you're not enhanced, so you won't have such benefit of doing pump workouts, uh, you know, with such high reps, with uh, a lot of sets like that. So you better focus on uh, less exercises and uh, to focus on less volume. So yeah, the second thing is, I think that the exercises are sometimes way too similar and there is no need to do such uh, similar exercises. Sometimes it just feels like, you know, you, you will do a set, um, you know, eight sets of one exercise and then do another eight set of another exercise that is almost the same. So I think, you know, it results in junk volume, uh, something that natural hypertrophy talks about sometimes that I totally agree with. Uh, what's the point of doing junk volume? You're just gonna, you know, um, destroy your recovery for the next workout. Uh, at least if you're gonna do it, do it on an exercise that is not, you know, so similar. Um, but, you know, here this is way too much uh, in my opinion and sometimes exercises are too similar. For example, for the chest day, it has bench press, then it has flies um, with, you know, the dumbbells, and then it has inclined bench press and then do the flies incline. I think for a natural, a good idea here would be to do flat bench press, then to do incline flies, and that's all, you know, you don't need to do four exercises, in my opinion, to target the angle that you want to target for chest. Um, maybe, perhaps, when you can allow yourself to do this, because, you know, you, you still take enhancements, etc., that could justify, but here, as a natural, you have to be more selective, uh, and, you know, one exercise basically per angle of the muscle is already good enough. In my opinion, for the, uh, for the legs, you know, he trained basically his squats on one day and hamstrings on the second day. I think that this could work. What I don't understand is that for his squats, he will do squats, leg press. And, you know, even if you change the position on your, of your feet to do that, you will still target a lot your hamstrings. So, you know, in terms of recovery, if you're natural, I definitely wouldn't advise to do that because the next day, it's like you've already worked your hamstrings, you know? So uh, I wouldn't recommend doing such things and I would recommend simply as a natural to bring all legs together for one day and not to try to split the leg muscles like here. So for naturals as well, what I see is that um, it does chest basically on day one, the day after it does back and the day after it does shoulders and arms. I think that whenever you do chest, you use a lot of your shoulders. Whenever you do back, you do use a lot of your shoulders as well. And when you do shoulders, well, you do shoulders, right? So here, I think there is a lack of rest for naturals that wouldn't work. I totally understand the fact that Serge Lebret wanted to have um, to focus on these muscles, especially for one day and, you know, to not group them together and to really split them so he could highly focus on this muscle and hammer it. But again, he's also enhanced and that helps him with recovery. This is something he could allow himself to do. But as a natural, I think it's better to group, you know, muscles intelligently. Unless you have a big capacity for recovery as an elite natural, I wouldn't recommend doing this. I would recommend, you know, to do, for example, your chest with your triceps or to do, you know, your chest with your shoulders or to do back with triceps or biceps. Basically to group muscles that, you know, when you use one muscle, uh, there's some other muscles that will be involved. Well, those that are involved when you try, when you train one muscle, try to bring them together into one session. As a natural, it will be better. It will allow you to basically uh, work all these muscles in one day and then to give you rest days to actually uh, really recover 
so that's you know intelligent programming in my opinion here it's not intelligent programming for naturals uh, you're gonna take risks doing this uh, and so that's why i don't advise for more, most naturals to ungroup these muscles and to really split them and to avoid doing something like back one day where you're gonna really use a lot of your shoulders and then the next day the shoulders uh, with arms for example like Serge Nubre is doing basically biceps and triceps the day after doing back where he already uses his biceps and triceps quite a lot it's not optimal for naturals then we go on to the abs he was doing abs every day is it a good thing or not uh, this is a question that is you know always around should I do my abs every day or not because this is a muscle that uh, you know, might not be like the other muscles, etc. So maybe I can do them every day, they recover faster, they're a small muscle. Well, in my opinion, abs are just like another muscle. They're actually quite a big muscle, you know, if you look at it in, you know, anatomy books, etc. So in my opinion, you should train abs, you know, twice a week if you want to, which is a good frequency, and go heavy on them. Uh, and that will be totally enough. You don't need to do a uh, 2,000, you know, sit-ups like he used to do Serge Nubre. I think Serge Nubre did it as well because he wanted to uh, do his cardio uh, by doing this. And also, you know, doing so many localized work in one area of the body, if you do it very frequently, uh, every day, um, you know, for long periods of time without giving up, you might be able to not uh, localize fat too much on this area but that's very hard work you have to be very frequent very serious with that and that might work a little bit uh, but other than that i think that you know this is not great for recovery obviously if you do 2000 sit-ups a day anyway you're still gonna build muscle and have you know very good abs because you practice it so much that sure it might not be the most optimal for recovery but at some point when you've done 2000 sit-ups every day for three years of course you're gonna build abs especially you know, if you have enhancements, etc., you're gonna build good muscles. But in my opinion, you should do abs the same way you do other muscle. Go heavy, add some weight on your torso, and do them twice a week. You can do another day where you do very high reps, uh, because that might be interesting, you know, to get uh, your body to uh, drive blood in this area to make the muscle more responsive, uh, responding, but uh, to do every day, uh, 2,000 push-ups, one hour, um, sit-ups, you know, for one hour. Uh, this is a surge new breath thing and we're going to leave it to him. As naturals, I don't think it's such a good idea. It's going to take a lot of your time for not, not much uh, re rewards. So leave it to the side. Then last thing that I don't really like about surge new breath workout is the arm uh, exercises selection. I'm more... Uh, you know of a guy that likes to play with gravity when lifting weights take the old good bars stick to basic exercises that offer a very good stretch here i think he relies a lot on pumpy exercises you know cable exercises i think you have better uh, than this and actually what i also said earlier the exercises he uses uh, at least for biceps are very similar he will do cable biceps curls only later to do barbell curls. It's exactly basically the same movement, not just with the same um, you know, machine. You will use um, the, the cables and then you will use a bar, but it's exactly the same movement. If I was him, I would have done, for example, incline curls and then do some um, pull-ups, you know, supinated grip. Uh, I would have done something differently or I would have done um, incline curls and then do some brachialis, you know, with hammer curls. I would have done something really differently, um, you know, not with the same um, angle for the arms. Uh, here, to me, it does exactly the same thing. And so I think for naturals, it's not good. Try to have, uh, you know, exercises uh, for each angle of the muscle, basically, uh, and not have too many exercises. So to sum up this video, I think that, you know, from Serge Nubre's perspective, I can understand why it could do this much volume and you know not suffer from it too much you know first is enhanced obviously uh, and so he can allow himself to recover this fast and to actually do you know muscles where he will do chest the first day and then he will do back and then he will do shoulders uh, this is something he could do this is not something as naturals we could do for a good program for a natural if you're you know a beginner or intermediate three four times a week is good grouping the muscles that go together 
um, is a good idea as well. Example, chest and triceps, or example, back and biceps. That could be a good thing. Some people will say that doing you know, back before biceps, you will have your biceps too tired. But in my opinion, it depends really from people to people. But you know, if you don't do a huge amount of volume with back before, and that you do things normally, your biceps, yes, might be a bit tired, but it doesn't really matter. And as well as you always stick to the same program in the same order, it's okay if you're tired a bit for biceps after and that you don't do such good results because over time, you will always do the same thing with back before biceps. And so if you improve on your biceps exercises after back, even if you're a bit tired, if you improve each time on these biceps exercises, despite being tired each time you do this same workout, then you're progressing. So it doesn't really matter as long as obviously you're not super tired and that you're not you know, doing too much for back before and that you're actually doing something wrong. There is no problem into doing a muscle after another one, although this one was a bit involved in the prior muscle that you were targeting. At some point, you've got to make choices in your program and to have to be the most intelligent possible. Obviously, the muscle you want to target the most, put it at the start of the workout and then the second muscle, put it afterwards. You know, you have to make priorities. That's just the reality of things. Uh, unless, you know, you've got all the time in your life on your hand or, you know, like Serge Nubre, you're enhanced and you can allow to make more mistakes. I guess that wouldn't work for natural. Well, here it's not the case. So we have to make choices. So a good example, if we take uh, this video with uh, the program of Serge Nubre for a natural would be to train three, four times a week to group muscles together. Uh, to do a uh, pretty high frequency. So try to work the most important muscle you want to see on yourself for your goals twice a week, pretty high frequency. The other one, you could do uh, one session a week. That would be enough. For example, biceps. If you know your goal is to have a good back, you will do back twice a week uh, and you will do biceps once. And, you know, because you do back twice a week, you will still involve a bit your biceps on uh, one of the two back sessions. So it's good enough. Uh, you know, sometimes there are crossovers and they're enough to actually have enough frequency for a muscle that you usually work only once a week. Second thing, now that you've got a program that would be three, three or four times a week with grouping the muscles together uh, and doing things intelligently, you want to specialize with the exercises and not use exercises that are exactly the same and do too many exercises. What's good is that when you find quality, you want to capitalize on this quality with quantity, but you don't want to spread the quality over. You want only to focus on what matters. And so having six exercises for one muscle is a mistake. Uh, you know, for chest, for example, you've got, let's say, you know, well, you've got three uh, parts of the muscles. Well, you know, target the three parts, but not more. And usually you only need three exercises to do this. So. If you do like six exercises for chest, you're probably doing something wrong and you're not optimizing. You're also always, you know, in the gym uh, doing, for example, three sets for one exercise, then going for another one for three sets, then another one until six. You're shifting your focus all the time, whether if you only choose to do three exercises for chest for the three angles, you have your full focus, uh, you know, for, for example, five sets. And it's going to be more optimal. You're not wasting time shifting your attention, switching between exercises in a gym where sometimes it's crowded and you waste a ton of time. You know, choose the most important exercises and add more sets to them rather than spreading sets over too many exercises. That's a very good advice I can give you. Uh, you know, practice, as I said earlier, makes, you know, better. And so focusing on the same exercises uh, that works for you and doing more sets on, on them rather than spreading it all around is going to be much better. Last, focus on basic exercises. You know, these exercises you choose this for yourself. You know, don't go to the cables like everyone does where people usually forget even to know what they're doing so they don't even know next time what to beat. Stick on basic exercises that offer a good stretch, that play with gravity, you know, the good old things that always worked. You know, don't go on fancy machines that, you know, you use once in a while. You have to be able to track what you do. So that's, you know, the, the last advice that I can give you for this video. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, never too easy to make a video like that where, you know, there might be a lot of details to give, but you don't want to dip too much into them. 
So I hope you're still uh, gonna be able to remember the main things for uh, this video and that it really helped you. If it's the case, always leave comments. I'm always here to answer. And uh, I will see you next time for a new video. I will make videos about Lou Ferrigno, Arnold Schwarzenegger. I will make you know videos about old schoolers like that. Take what's good uh, for naturals and you know leave it to the side what's not for naturals. And uh, I will also make other videos that are not related to old schoolers. And uh, yeah, if you have any ideas or any questions that could be for Q&A also, don't hesitate to comment. See you next time.